Hey guys, I'm Fred from Swampy Acres Farm. So the piglets have arrived. Uh, we have a count. We are actually got two winners. We decided to do something a little bit different. So uh, stick with us and we'll show you the piglets and give you a count and also some of the chores we're doing around the farm. Turkeys are doing awesome in the uh, chicken tractor. Probably another week or two and then they'll be ready to go into their electro net fencing. We got Miss Clem here. Her name's Clementine. She's the, uh, the barn cat. Sometimes she likes me, sometimes she likes the wife. Depends on what her mood is. Oh, Clem. Hi. Hello. I guess today is my day. Alright, so we're going to tell you who the animals are. This one's half and half. This one is Ringo. That's Midnight. That's Rona. Half and half. Stormy. Blossom. Heineken. Katrina. Who's the white faced one, Becky? Maybell. And Brutus. off over there that's the outer stuff that gets kind of a little gross because I don't have the bales wrapped so when I put the grapple back on throw it in the manure pile or directly in the truck because I got to move this manure pile out back well here's the door to the pork palace hello miss Pearl how are you I know. I'll give you scratchy scratch. Yeah. We try to keep her bedding dry. Doesn't work with this pig. I didn't have another corner tub, so I had a rubber one. Well, she got the idea that she could push on it, spill the water out, and have a nice bathing area. Good part about the gap around the building is the water runs out. Yeah. 
No, oh, that's right, Pearl. Make a nice mess. Pigs like to make a mess. Miss Sylvia here. Unfortunately, she is not bred. She has passed her due date. So, we're going to breed her again shortly. And see what she gives us. As you can see, the straw is matted down. The little ones come in here. We didn't put a heat light because it is wicked hot. We just have the light. For some reason, the light draws them in. They come in here. Right now, I don't know if you can see, but they're in direct line here with the fan. They are enjoying the breeze. There's Mama. Unfortunately, we have her door closed right now because I got to put a board around the wire to make sure the little guys can't get loose. And I got to put the netting over the top so hawks don't steal our piglets anymore. Got to protect these guys. Um, it's the only litter we have right at this moment. We're going to loan our boar out. He's going to another farm, uh, Mennonite farm. And they keep him for about two months and then they bring him back here, which will give me plenty of time to get his new pen built. And then uh, when we breed the females, we're going to have them so we end up having spring piglets again. We're kind of off by a bit just because we ended up building the building, but everything takes time and money, in which I don't have, and then uh, go from there. The other thing too is over here, there's no water in there. I actually put straw in there, but she pulled it out. So when the babies are born, they don't go in there because that is about 10 or 12 inches deep and I don't want them drowning. We end up using the water tub, which she decided to make some straw tea. So I got to clean that out here in a minute. And we clean her bedding every two days, um, put new straw and new shavings in. I'm going to probably let her out this weekend. So once uh, she gets out there, the piglets will try to keep them inside, clean the pen and then go from there. But if the piglets get venturous and go out there, it'll be safe. And for all you guys wondering, we actually have eight piglets that survived. She had two stillborn. So Mike Tucker got the correct number of piglets, but I'm not sure of the name. I have to look at the other person that guessed eight. So Mike Tucker and the other person that guessed eight are both going to get t-shirts sent to them. Um, I figured we'll do the live number and the stillborn number. So that way there we figured it would be fair for everybody. As these guys get a little more rambunctious, we'll uh, keep you posted. This one's looking for a drink right now. Usually there's a 48 hour window with pigs that you have to be cautious with. The first 48 hours is when they uh, take a chance of being squished and everything else. But as of right now, it's looking really good. She has been a great mom. She's very, very, you know, concerned about the babies. She makes sure she watches where they go. That little guy's scratching on his mom. He's like, oh yeah, belly scratch. All right, guys, I guess that's it for the video for this week. The two people that won, please leave your emails in the comments so that I can email you and get your address to send you some t-shirts. Uh, we can't keep this channel going without people's help, so if you could please subscribe, comment, like. We really want to get this channel taking off, and I can't do it without your help. So if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, we'd appreciate it. Thank you.